Iowa's only nuclear power plant will face more inspections. This comes after the Nuclear Regulatory Commission discovered two problems with the plant's backup equipment last year. CBS 2 News reporter Mugo Digwe toured some areas of the plant today and is here now to show us why administrators say safety always comes first. Mugo. Tiffany, that's the big goal, safety. The site vice president tells me there are numerous steps to ensuring that happens. The plant even has the ability to safely shut down during an emergency. The fact that there is a nuclear power plant about eight miles from Cedar Rapids can be mind-boggling. Take a ride into Palo, and at some point you'll notice water vapor in the sky and a few towers, all signs of the Dwayne Arnold Energy Center. Our main purpose is to produce electrical power, and, there, and there's a lot of different ways to produce power. Uh, you can use coal, gas, uh, and, but what we do is we use nuclear. Last year, though, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission found two violations at the plant site. They have four levels of violations within the regulatory process. A green, which is of uh, very low safety significance. The uh, white, which is uh, low to moderate. Both violations, one being an oil leak in a diesel generator, the other a backup cooling system that wouldn't start automatically, were a white finding. But Richard Anderson says they are procedures in place to help ensure safety. It could still be started from the main control panel simply by the operator walking up, identifying this valve, taking it to the open position. The key is redundancy through multiple safety and backup systems. Anderson says all of their plant operators go through training, just like college programs. This mock control room is a training site. It's part of making sure employees and the public are safe. It's kind of the we live here too. We're part of this community from every aspect of safe operation. The two violations have been addressed and all work. Anderson says they did not present a risk to the health or safety of the community. Mugo Digwe, CBS 2 News.